Hello fellow mushroom people! Today I will be doing a review of We Need New Names by No Violet Bulawayo. Okay, so I picked up this book because I, I think I read an article um, that was about um, how migrating to a different place can just remove you from the society and um, make you feel like disintegrated and um, also that how you lose your identity uh, in the process. And so this was one of the books that was presented in that article and I thought it sounded interesting so I picked it up. <laughs> and. Um, I was kind of confused because uh, the blurb on the back, it just says um, that the book is about the 10 year old girl named Darling who lives in a kind of shanty town um, called Paradise. Um, so this place is in Africa and it's just a <laughs> place of broken dreams. But for her and her friends, it's a place full of adventure. Um, because the adults leave them alone, the um, NGOs come around and give them toys and they can steal, oh, I should have looked up the English words, um, guaves. I'm putting it somewhere, <laughs> I'm just checking out later what it's uh, in, in English. Um, yeah, just some kind of fruit. So um, yeah, this, this blurb, it just uh, talks about how she lives in Africa and also I think the first half of the book is just about her being in the place as a young girl and um, just having all those adventures that I mentioned on the back. So um, I was like, okay, that was not what I uh, was expecting because I thought she grew up in Africa and then at one point she would move to, I think, the United States. That's uh, what I thought. But then I was like, oh, okay, well, um, this is interesting. I will <laughs> just read it uh, the way it is. And a uh, spoiler alert, then she moves to the United States. So <laughs> it, it was just my, my double confusion that was very confusing. Okay, so um, the protagonist, Darling, and her friends, they, they uh, live in paradise, this shanty town with uh, out just running water and electricity and stuff like that. Um, but they don't really mind. So you just see those kids inventing new games, running around, having fun. Um, so for them, it's not that bad, but you can see that the adults, they, they are not satisfied in the place they're in because most of them, before they came to a paradise, um, they lived in like, the girl in the book says, like real houses and they had a more stable environment. Um, but then some revolution happened. So um, this takes place in a kind of unnamed African country. Uh, so whenever they talk about their home, they just refer to it as our land, our language, our home. Um, but yeah, so these children, they just run around, have fun, um, and do stuff. But um, there's also all those pretty bad things going on, which they can't fully comprehend. So. Um, this book is full of trigger warnings like sexual abuse, child abuse, rape, um, also animal abuse, child pregnancy. So it's it's very heavy uh, with its topics. Um, and so for me, it was really, really interesting to see those things touched upon um, through the eyes of a 10 year old girl, because as an adult, you would be like, oh, that's horrible. Um, but she kind of had a different view on things. So for her, those things, they were quite bad. Um, but uh, like I said, she, she didn't fully understand what was going on in that moment. Um, yeah. Um, and so, like I said, in the second half of the book, she does move to America. And um, that's where the, the uh, loss of identity comes into play. So we get to experience her living in... Uh, she, uh, at first she moves to Detroit in Michigan. <laughs> okay, that's what they say in the book all the time. They refer to it as destroyed Michigan, one word. It's <laughs> just uh, kind of funny. Um, but yeah, she goes there and we follow her life in the United States. Um, I thought that this part was a bit weaker um, because we did not... Uh, so the first part was just her at 10 years old living her life. And the second part, it was a bit more disconnected. So 
I think we don't really get to see her arrival. It's just that she's been there for a few months and then we skip a few years and go to a different point in time. And I thought that it would, would have been better um, to show uh, the maybe early days of her arriving in this country and um, what that meant for her way of life. And uh, because she also says that she grew up totally different and uh, that um, all this America, they can't really understand how she thinks and also her uh, family thinks. So um, I would have liked this part to be a bit more connected to um, the time when she moved instead of later on. Um, but yeah, we follow her through the years and I think it ends when she's 18, 19. Um, yeah, um, I think the strongest part of the second half of the book was a chapter where we were not really following uh, the protagonist herself, um, but it was more like a general experience of uh, migrating to another country and uh, kind of losing one's identity in the process because um, you don't really belong to the country you came from anymore because you're disconnected from that, but you also don't are really not really belonging to the country you live in now because of all those roots you have in that other place you came from. And um, I think that chapter was very well done and it touched upon many things. It was like, yeah, so I came to this country and then I lived here and I was illegal and then I got kids and they grew up and they don't really um, connect with me anymore because they have different lives now. And, I, that was really uh, well written and I thought that it was really interesting and um, that it was very right. <laughs> I mean, it's not for me to say because I've never migrated to another country. Um, but uh, yeah, like this this chapter was very interesting. Um, we also don't really get a real, real ending. Um, I don't know. So the, the latter part, the latter half of the book wasn't as strong. Um, overall, I want to recommend this book very strongly because it touches upon some very interesting points and it's just... Um, um, so I, I grew up in Germany and I was always in the middle class, so I had never any problems of poverty and um, like living on the streets or anything. So. Um, this was very so a good way for me to see a totally different life and i really really appreciated that even though it was a very heavy book to swallow because of some of the themes that uh, i touched upon um but yeah if you're into into if you're in the mood for something that's uh, a bit more heavy um then i can only recommend that you pick it up. It's not that long, so it's 260 pages in the German version, which is probably like 200 pages in an English version because Germans like to write big on their pages. Um, but yeah, just uh, check it out. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short review of uh, We Need New Names and um, yeah, see you again in the next video.